Hello, good morning and welcome from Dungannon. A very warm welcome from the Joe Macquarie Junior Stadium in Dungannon for this NIBFA under-14 fixture between Dungannon Youth and Limfield. Now, a perfect opportunity to run through the team lineups for Dungannon. We have number one, Matthew Heyman, number six, Samuel Arnold, number four, Reese Hepburn, number five, Jack Johnson, number three, Jimmy Johnson, number eight, Adam Key, number 16, Adam Dolan, number 12, Matthew Mulgrew, number 10, Thomas Slater, number 29, Connor Taggart, number nine, Brian Oak McGuckin, number 17, Toby Dallas, number 15, Jacob Painter, and number 11, James McParland. And of course, Dungannon Youth are managed by David Tate, who is our manager. And for Linfield under 14s, we have number one, Max Sykes, number two, Zach White, number three, Sonny Trainer, number four, Jake Hurth, number five, Finlay Ross, number six, Rhys Davison, number seven, Zach Cowan, number eight, Cameron Majeski, number nine, Jay Longridge, number 10, Jack May, number 11, Malachi Harris, number 12, Corey Boyd, number 14, Harvey Layton, number 15, Charlie Heron, number 16, Gary McComb, number 17, Curtis McCune. And the uh, Linfield are managed by Craig Hurth, who is our manager. So we're almost set to go. And Dungan and the referee goes through his final pre match checks. A perfect morning for a game of football kickoff, not too far away. So you're very welcome to this stream this morning. I'm your match day commentator, Johnny Martin, as we see players ready for kickoff. Dungannon will be in the yellow and blue, and Limfield will be in the blue shirts, white shorts. So we're almost ready for kickoff. The referee just signals to both goalkeepers. Should be a great game on paper. Two teams that are certainly expected to challenge to win this league. So we're underway. Reese Davison gets an early touch off the ball for Limfield. Davison in possession gives it in field. Limfield play a ball down the line. Dungannon get their first touch on the ball. Thomas Slater with the pass towards his defence as Dungannon work the ball over towards the left side of the pitch. Early touch off the ball for the Dungannon goalkeeper. Matthew Heyman, Heyman gives it out towards the right back area, but just too much in his pass this time. As mentioned, both these teams should be expected to compete for the league title this season at this age group. Last season, this Limfield side when they were under 13s, won a domestic treble. So, what a sign of the class which should be on show here this fine Saturday morning. And Phil with a throw in down the line, taken by Curtis McCune. Also worth pointing out that Dungannon, they've played three so far this season and they've won all their league games they've only conceded one goal all season the home side have victories against Green Island, Larne and Maiden City goal kick for Matthew Heyman gets good distance on it Linfield coming forward Jack May in possession The wayside, Linfield just getting the ball down, getting their foot on the football as they attack down the far side of the pits. Jack May tries to go past his opponent down that right wing. The 
Gavin play it forward. So they try and work something down the left side. Linfield goalkeeper is alert to that threat. Linfield goalkeeper, Max Sykes, comes off his goal line well. Davison gets his foot on the ball for Linfield. South Belfast side trying to get their foot on the ball in midfield. It's been a tight and competitive game so far. Of course, we're in the opening five minutes. Here's Davison, comes forward for Linfield, plays a ball towards Zach Cowan. Cowan, his cross was plucked out of the air by Matthew Heyman, the Dungannon goalkeeper. in, goes away off Linfield. Of course, the season as well. Linfield they have started the season very well too. They've played three league games and they've won three league games. Wins over Cliftonville, Coleraine and Glenavon for the Blues. So early stages of this game. Linfield enjoying Probably the majority of possession as they have a throw in far side of the pitch. Reese Davison with the ball at his feet. Davison looks for a pass, makes the pass. Then Gannon come forward. Is there a shot at the end of this move for Den Gannon? There's Infield goalkeeper, Max Sykes just rolls the ball out towards the centre back. Infield coming forward, Finlay Ross in possession. Here is Ross with the ball at his feet. Ross shows good skill. Has a shot. I have to give credit there to Linfield's number five, Finley Ross, the midfielder. Showed great technical ability and had the shot. Linfield enjoying possession, Curtis McCune, Curtis McCune gives it infield to find Finlay Ross, Linfield trying to combine and work down this left side of the pitch. Go there now when he is 
good position. Keep your shape. Couple of infield players tying their boot laces. Referee waves play on. Linfield with the throw in. Down the right hand side of the pitches. The Blues come forward here as Cameron Majeski just runs into trouble. Dungannon will win the ball back. Connor Taggart plays it up the line for the team in yellow. Goal kick for Dungannon Swiss. Matthew Heyman takes his kick out, gets good distance on it. As Dungannon try and get something going in the Linfield half. Dungannon awarded a free kick. Of course, we can see the town of Dungannon in the backdrop. A fine sunny Saturday morning. Dungannon with a free kick here and a chance to play the ball forward. Chance for Dungannon. Connor Taggart. Ball at his feet. Taggart crosses in towards the near post. And Limfield just about defend it and turn it behind for a corner. So Dungannon with a corner kick far side of the pit. It's a good chance to put the ball into the box here, here come to set pace into a crowded area Don't get him with the throw in, here comes the throw Dungannon play it long, say so look to try and get their forward on to the end of it. Matthew Mulgrew, who's had a quiet game so far. Linfield trying to attack down the left side. Keep the ball in play. Reese Davison shows, but doesn't get the ball this time. So Linfield with a corner far side of the pitch and their number 17, Curtis McCune, will trot across to that right side of the pitch to take this corner kick for Linfield. Plenty of blue shirts inside the area. Here comes the set piece. And there is the opening goal. Linfield go 1-0 ahead. It's their number 6, Reese Davison. He was unmarked and he heads Linfield ahead into the lead in this game. Linfield take the lead.
So the Blues take the lead roughly 15 minutes into this game. The goal coming from Reese Davison. The corner was a perfect one and Reese Davison was unmarked. He heads home to give Linfield the perfect start. Gallant down at the other end. Try and get themselves in this game. Connor Taggart in possession, crosses in towards the near post area. Big chance for the equaliser, and Dungannon have levelled. Well, Linfield were only ahead for a small amount of time, and it's Matthew Mulgrew with the goal for Dungannon. Matthew Mulgrew makes it 1 1. So Linfield weren't ahead for too long, roughly one or two minutes at the most. Credit to Dungannon for getting themselves right back in the game, one apiece. Goal scores so far this morning, Linfield's goal coming from Rhys Davison and Matthew Mulgrew getting in the scoring act from a Dungannon point of view. What a game we have had so far, roughly 16 minutes on the clock. And surely signs of more goals as Duncanon have a player on the ground just receiving a word of advice from the referee. Just checks to see how the player is feeling. Looks to be limping, but... Duncanon have a free kick in any case. They'll try and build something down this left side. Curtis McKeown. McKeown done well to keep the ball on play. Just as I say that, the referee deciding the ball. Oh, just had run out of play for them. Gallon throw in. Referee awards to Gannon the free kick bang on the halfway line. Finlay, Jack Johnson, I should say, plays the free kick into the box for Dungannon. Thomas Slater plays the ball to the edge of the area. Here's Jack May for Linfield. As Linfield trying to attack down the right side. Ball comes into the area. Zach Cowan. Zach Cowan with the ball at his feet. Cowan lays it off for a teammate. Jay Longridge gives it out towards the right. Linfield cross the ball into the area. And the header just goes over the crossbar this time. Zach Cowan with the header, but his effort goes over the crossbar. Big chance for them, Gannon. And they go 2-1 ahead. The chance fell to Thomas Slater. Thomas Slater goes one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, keeps his composure, and Dungannon take the lead. So Dungannon's second goal of this morning. Thomas Slater went one-on-one -on -one with the Linfield goalkeeper, 
kept his composure, passed the ball into the bottom right corner and Dungannon have came from behind. Gannon try and build something down the left side. Here's Brian McCucken. Oh, McCucken. And the ball just ends up at the Linfield goalkeeper, Max Sykes, who clears his lines. Failed to keep possession. Dungan in, coming forward. Looks like a, a simple foul there, a simple decision for the match referee. A foul coming on. Dungannon's number 10, Thomas Slater. So Dungan awarded the free kick from distance. Thomas Slater is Dungannon's top leading goal scorer. Looks player who certainly puts in a shift a very hard working player so Dungannon with the free kick Jack Johnson Jack Johnson over this dead ball Johnson just waits for the referee's whistle Johnson with the strike at goal but it's a simple enough save for the Linfield goalkeeper Max Sykes who's eager to get on with things of course his side trailing by two goals to one Field coming forward. Nice build up play from the visiting side. Davison plays it forward. Tries to get Linfield going down that left wing, but too much on his pass this time for the run of Zach Cowan. So Linfield with the throw, their number five takes it, Finlay Ross. Ross with the ball on his feet is, here is Ross. Ross tries to go past an opponent, but Dungannon just happy enough to play the ball and clear their lines, get the ball out of the Dungannon's own box as Linfield will have the throw in. Sonny Trainer takes the throw in down the left side. Trainer with the ball at his feet, crosses in towards the front post area. Stop the ball. 
Didn't fail to play the ball into the box, but Dungannon goalkeeper, Matthew Heyman, alert to that cross, comes off his goal line. Heyman in shot, warning the baseball cap this morning. Of course, it's a beautiful September morning as we approach autumn. Dungannon with a throw. Arnold takes a throw down the line as the team in yellow try and add to their goal scoring tally. Of course, it was Dungannon who trailed in this game. And the Dungannon goalkeeper Matthew Hemmen alert to the threat there. Comes off his goal line, collects the ball, just takes his time before kicking the ball up the field of play. Again, he gets good distance on his kick. As Dungannon try and come forward, it's been tight midfield battle so far in this game. Of course, you'd expect that. Both sets of midfielders not really allowed any time to settle and get their foot on the ball. Dungannon come forward as Brian Og McGuckin thought he had beat the offside trap but the whistle had went just not timing his run this time but their number nine looks a, a certainly a threat he looks a pacey player speaking to the Dungannon manager yesterday told me that Brian Og McGuckin a real pacey player strength hungry and of course a, a striker who knows where the net is as well which is obviously very useful Linfield try and come forward down the left Cameron Majeski Majeski battles tries to keep the ball in play deep in the Dungannon penalty area Linfield coming forward again. Good play from Jack May. Jack May with the shot. And again he forces the Dungannon keeper into making the save. But good play there from Linfield's number 10, Jack May. Linfield attacking down the right side, ball comes into the area and the cross this time just over hit from that right hand side of the pitch as Linfield try and get back in the game. Of course it was Linfield that opened the scoring. Their number six, Reese Davison, powered home a header from a Linfield corner. And then Duncanon more or less went up the other end, equalised and then took the lead. chance for Dungana to play it long Jack Johnson with the deep free kick just inside his own half
Midfield try and set up something on a counter attack as their number two, Zach White, will play the ball long down the right wing. Some lovely first touch football played from the Gannon before they play it long. Just too much on the pass that time. The ball trickles behind for a Linfield goal kick. Half time not too far away for both these sides and a chance for both managers. Duncan manager David Tate and Linfield manager Craig Hurth to have a word with his players. Obviously, chance for both managers to see what way they'll set up for the second half. Throw in for Linfield, Sonny Trainer. Takes the throw in down the line and his throw doesn't find a teammate on this occasion. off his line. Dungannon appeal for a penalty. Referee not interested. There was an infield goalkeeper. Max Sykes has possession off the ball. Linfield try and muster something. Again down the right side of the pitch. Long ball played forward. Brian Oog McGuckin for Dungannon. Tries to go past his opponent. So Dungannon awarded the corner kick near side of the pitch and a great opportunity for them to swing the ball into the box here. Half time is approaching. Of course, it's the home side who are currently in the lead, leading by two goals to one. So Dungannon with the corner. Here comes the corner. Played into a crowded area. The goalkeeper under pressure. Linfield just about managed to clear things. Chance for a shot, the shot hard and low across the box. Dungannon scored their third goal. It was a close range tap in. Great work from Brian O'Gmogwakin down the right side. And Dungannon tap it in at the back post. It's Dungannon who now lead by three goals to one. So good determination. From Brian O'McGuckin down that right side to keep the ball alive. He played it in towards the back post. And Dungannon made it 3 1.
Zach White with the throw in for the infield is takes the throw in down the line. Referee awarding Tim Gannon Youth uh, a free kick far side of the pitch. So another free kick awarded to Dungannon and again a perfect opportunity to play this ball into the box. Here comes a set piece delivery. Davison plays it long for an infield. Finley Ross tries to give the ball out towards the right side for the Blues. Here's Jack May. Jack May does give it out towards the right. Hey, everybody, shift, shift. Brad O, come across, we better. Brad O, come across. Give yourself a chance. So there we have the referee's half-time whistle. What a half so far in Dungannon. Four goals in this game at half-time. But at the break from Dungannon, the scoreline is Dungannon 3, Linfield 1. And commentary will resume at the start of the second half.
Hello, good morning and welcome back from Dungannon for this under-14 NIBFA fixture between Dungannon Youth and Linfield under-14s. As, as you can see in our graphic there at the top left of the screen, halftime score line is Dungannon 3, Linfield 1 and we're underway in the second half. If you're just joining us, you're very welcome. Linfield wearing the blue and white and Dungannon in the yellow and blue. tail off that first half well it was Linfield who opened the scoring hey, Reese Davison headed them in front inside the opening 10 minutes Dungannon came back with a bang though Thomas Slater and Matthew Mulgrew got in in the scoring act and Dungannon then went ahead to make it 3-1 just before the half time whistle Linfield with it all to do now of course there trailing by a two goal margin as Linfield try and build something down that left side of the pitch Finley Ross finds a teammate Gary McCone Linfield players enjoying possession here comes across into the front post area, but the Gannon certainly deal with it as they try and get up the field of play. Of course, worth noting, both these sides are unbeaten this season. Of course, Dungannon have played three and won three in their league fixtures so far this season. As for Linfield, they have also played three and won three, so two form teams, and you would imagine at the end of the season, these clubs will certainly be in contention to lift this under-14 title. Here's Brian Oog McGuckin. McGuckin plays the ball in towards the back post. Big chance for another. And the ball comes off the post. The chance fell to Matthew Mulgrew. His effort hit the post. Danger still isn't clear. Ball hoisted into the box. Flick on header is one. So Dungannon with the throw. Jamie Johnson takes a throw in down that left side. And he'll have another chance to take a throw in. Jimmy Johnson with the ball in his hand. A re reliably informed. Very good athlete. Good solid player. Of course playing in the left back position this morning as Dungannon try and play the ball into the box. Limfield trying to Get out from their own half. Dungannon attacking again down the right side. The shot comes in. Did it take a reflection? Looks as if it will be a Dungannon corner kick. So the early stages of the second. The home side have started it well. Here comes the corner. Played into a crowded penalty box. Infield in possession, sliding challenge comes in. Come on, 
Winfield coming forward. number four she Hearth clears his lines as he plays it forward for Linfield Linfield with the throw in as they try and get back into this game of course trailing by three goals to one Linfield with the corner, they take the corner short. Ball played in towards the front post area. Challenge comes in on the Gannon number 10. Thomas Slater and the free kick has went the way of the home side. Dun Gannon youth. Of course, this fixture being played at the Joe Macquarie Junior Stadium in Dungannon. A fine September Saturday morning as the free kick has played long into the box. So another through for Dungannon. Jamie Johnson with the throw in. Again takes his throw in down the line. Feel in possession, they go back to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper had to be alert. Throw in for Linfield, far side of the pitch. Ball back with the thrower. Strong battling from both sets of players. Ball will break for Dungannon's number 10, Thomas Slater. trying to play the ball forward referee with a easy decision there and field player shirt was being pulled so and field will have a free kick bang on the halfway line good chance for the blues to play it long they take the free kick quickly as they try and work something down that left side comes in from distance both sets of players just trying to get the ball to ground Linfield 
Sack White. Sack White gives it in field to a teammate. Infield give it out towards the left side. A nice pass there from Jake Hurth out towards the left side. Sonny Trainer tries to win the ball back for Linfield, but the free kick will go the way of Dungannon Youth. Of course, Dungannon leading by three goals to one. They've had to do things a hard way so far this morning. Of course, Dungannon trailed in this game by one goal to nil, and they replied to make it 3-1 just before the halftime whistle. They scored their third goal. <laughs> so Linfield with a throw in. Zach White takes a throw. Down the left side, good play. Is there a shooting chance around the edge of the box? Good firm sliding challenge comes in, and they're gonna clear their lines. So far in the second half, the Dungannon defending has been resolute. Ball just ends up with Matthew Heyman, the Dungannon youth goalkeeper. Duncanon forced into a spot of defending as Gary McComb gives chase from a Linfield point of view. Of course we're at the stage in this game where Linfield, you'd have to say, need to score soon to try and get anything out of this game. Of course Linfield trailing by a two goal margin. lines for Linfield plays it up front but again that Dungannon goalkeeper Matthew Heyman is alert comes off his goal line and just takes no chances plays the ball out for a Linfield throw in minute by minute Dungannon getting closer to what would be a fourth league victory of course they've won all their three games so far this season a fine start for the county to Rome side and They've only conceded one league goal as well. In fact, that's two league goals now. Of course, Linfield scoring in this fixture.
So in field with a free kick, it will be Finlay Ross, their number five, the midfielder who is over this dead ball. Here comes a set piece, plays it into a crowded area. And it will just result in another save for Matthew Heyman. Strong challenge coming in, referee. Had a good view of it, he waves play on. Field coming forward. Is there a, a shot at the end of this move? Linfield are enjoying more possession. They probably have done so in the last three to five minutes as the Blues try and work an opportunity. Shot comes in, but the Gannon will have possession again of the ball. Long range strike comes in, just past the post there, but Brian Ogmagokin done well. Got the ball on the left side, cuts in, and had the strike with his right foot, however, his effort going just past the left post. Filled with a throw. Zach White takes his throw in, finds a teammate, but they're going to defend it well as Jack May was under pressure for the Blues. In field, really have to come and boxed in. Just to say that classic commentator's curse, the throw in goes away off. Dungan and Youth. Zach White for Linfield. Zach White plays it in field. this left side. Jimmy, can you help him? Connor Taggart does well, keeps the ball in play. Yeah, Just as they say that, Linfield will win Order. possession of the ball again. Good pressure from Tungannon's number 29, Connor Taggart. Connor, the decision goes the way of Linfield. Oh, 
Good strong to get defending from a Dungannon point of view. Very good. Dungannon clear their lines. Jacob Pender played the pass forward, but Linfield defence was up to the up to the standard of that pass as Linfield come forward now. Body in, body in. And good defending from Dungannon's number four. Reese Hepburn had the strength, had the composure to just shepherd the ball out of the pitch. And the Gannon will have the goal kick as they are edging closer and closer to another league win. Matthew Heyman takes his kick out. King gets good distance on it, does the Dungannon goalkeeper. trying to work something but they have to give credit to the Duncanon defence so far especially in this second half they've been under pressure here's Jake Hearth who Plays it forward for Linfield. You could see what he was trying down that left side of the pitch, but just slightly too much on the pass. Just creeps behind. So Linfield with a, a free kick, roughly 40 yards from goal. Here comes the set place. And it just goes over everyone. Disappointing from a Linfield point of view. forced into defending they go back towards their goalkeeper Max Sykes referee's going to bring out his yellow card here I think it's for the Linfield number 16 Carrie McComb referee maybe not happy with something that player has said but anyway end result is Dungannon have a free kick and again it will be their number 5 Jack Johnson who will take the set piece, plays it long.
Kay Kurth in possession for Linfield as he dribbles it forward. Carries the ball a, a long distance from his own half as he tries to get Linfield going. Throw in, goes away of Linfield. Despite the Duncanon complaints, here is the Linfield throw. throw in for Trangannon. Jamie Johnson just takes his time here before taking the throw. Davison makes the pass towards his goalkeeper. Max Sykes. Sykes with the ball at his feet. Finds the number four. Jake Hearth. Jake Hearth dribbles it forward. He's probably enjoyed it. Some possession of the ball in the second half. Bringing it forward for Linfield. Here's Finlay Ross. Finlay Ross makes a pass. Ross with the ball back at his feet. Sonny Trainer in possession as he tries to bring it forward for Linfield. If you're just joining us, all the goals have came in the first half of this game. Of course, it was Duncanon who led 3 1 at the break. And that's still the scoreline here at the Joe Macari Junior Stadium in Duncanon. Gannon, not too far away from claiming another three points. It would be a big win for Dungannon Youth. Of course, Linfield, as always, uh, most age groups expected the challenge for the league. But it's been a fine display from Dungannon this morning. Of course, they trailed 1 0, and they had the character to score three goals in that first half. So far in the second half, Linfield have probably had. There, more possession good, and more possession in the Dungannon half but Dungannon have defended it well it's time is running out for the South Belfast club here's Jacob Painter Painter gives it out towards the right side for Dungannon and his pass just slightly overhit this time. Linfield with the throw in. Everybody 
midfield player down the line. Their number 10 gives chase. Jack May. Jack May, a forward player for Linfield. He has got plenty of the ball so far this morning. Linfield's number five, Finley Ross, gives the ball backwards. Linfield then play it long as they look for their number 10, Jack May. But again, credit to that Dungannon defence that has been very switched on in this second half. Shot coming in there, but another effort just wide of that left post as the referee has a look at his watch. Matthew Heyman, the Dungannon goalkeeper, just taking his time before taking this goal kick. Linfield coming forward, here's Jack May. Field, but in good defending from a Dungannon youth point of view. Zach White prepares to take the throw in for Linfield. Referee not happy with where he's taken the throw. Good composure from Dungannon. Good play from the number three, Jamie Johnson. Johnson gives it in field, continues his run. Johnson prepares for yet again another throw down this left side of the pitch. And there we have the referee's full time whistle. Dungannon Youth have won this fixture. They've had the dig deep. It was them who trailed in this game. They trailed when Linfield's Reese Davison headed in roughly in the 10 minute mark. But Dungannon Youth responded. Goals from Matthew Mulgrew, Thomas Slater 
and they went on to score a third goal just before the halftime break. So Dungannon win this fixture as both sets of players shake hands. The game was played in a good spirit on a fine Saturday morning. So there we have it, the full-time score from Dungannon. It has finished Dungannon Youth 3, Limfield 1. And the only thing left to say from myself is I hope you enjoyed watching this morning and I'll see you next time.